Thank you for joining me today, Deidre. A pleasure. Just thinking back to the start of your career, how did you get inspired to move into the finance industry? Uh, probably a lot of it was good luck, in all honesty. I mean, I enjoyed economics and math at school. I went on to uni, uh, came out and was offered a place with ANZ and their investment management team as an equity analyst. And uh, to be honest, I barely knew what a share was. Um, so it was in, there were so many opportunities that were offered in the next few years. And when you think back in the 1980s, we had the bull market as well, and then we had the share market crash. Um, so it was always a really big learning experience, and there were just so many challenges. And I also think that I was very fortunate over that time too, because there were not a lot of women in finance in those areas. And the ANZ did give me the opportunity to move through uh, in different areas of the bank, including their treasury area as well. And then latter years, I moved into investment banking, and I've always stayed with the debt side. So some 20 years ago, I moved to Craig's uh, in the role of head of fixed income, and it has been really interesting to see the changes for retail investors and what is available to them in the years, um, over those years. Um, and I think in New Zealand, we're in a, re in a very good space uh, with respect to the income assets that you can put into a portfolio. And that has been super encouraging to have been an enabler of that. Just thinking back to when you started, you came out fresh from university into the finance world, and you mentioned that you were one of the only females working in your workplace. Did you find as time went on when you went to go for promotions and that kind of thing, you had to drive it yourself or were, were there peers that were helping you along the way? I think it was probably a mix of both, but a lot of it was driving it yourself because you had to decide what your next step was going to be mm. and then working out how to get there and finding the people that could perhaps help you or say to you that that wasn't a good step and to take an alternative. So, But yes, there was definitely a lot of... Um, you did actually have to put yourself forward and you always had to take the next step and it was always hard. Over your years in working in the finance industry, what are the most noticeable shifts you've seen in the workplace when it comes to diversity and inclusion? Going back to when I started in the workplace, it would be the sheer number of women that are now working and I guess part of that comes back to the economic state and that in general you need to have two incomes if you're in a household of two parents for a start. Um, and I think the other side is that we've seen a much greater number of women reach leadership positions as well. The next step after that has been that the focus on diversity across different ethnic groups and inclusion uh, and we're much more focused on that as well and making sure that the workplace environment is or replicates the communities that we live in. What is some advice you wish you could tell yourself back from your earliest years um, working? Probably the first thing would be to go and do a course on public speaking and to be more confident at getting up in front of large groups. Small groups it's always easy because you feel as if you're just talking um, and it's, it's generally a safe environment. But when you're standing up in front of a large group of people and you're perhaps talking about investments, in order to give confidence to those people you're talking to, then you need to come across as appropriately assertive and while we may know our topic, it's just that inherent fear of talking it to a large audience. So that's what I would do. What do you think is the best way that we'd be able to bring more women into finance? That's something that we've been talking about quite a lot and I think it goes back to, to school, to school age. And it's not only women but it's just right across the community and whether or not that we go out in those workday experiences that they have in schools that we bring people into Craig's, small groups of people into Craig's. We teach them about what we do because for a lot of the, of the kids that are at school, they wouldn't even understand or they wouldn't know what wealth managers are and how important it is for people going forward that they save and think about their futures. So I would start at school. I think it would be also useful to bring more students through as interns where that we have the ability to do so. Uh, and also within within the younger staff at Craig's, talk to them about where that they can go, what they can do, other skills, where that they might want to actually reach in their careers and how that we can help them get there and give them the opportunity to have different experiences. And perhaps that's one thing that the traditional banks tend to do. They have rotation within grad roles. It's not always possible to do that in smaller workplaces, 
But I think if we can give people opportunity to work in different areas and understand them, then that can be to their benefit and to ours. Deirdre, looking at your career progression, you're now a director at Craig's. What inspired you to join the board? My younger son had left home and I really wanted to do something that was more challenging. And I thought I can either stay within Craig's and look and see what else I can do and how I can contribute, or I can take on additional roles outside of Craig's as well. And I decided to um, stand as a director, which is an elected position. And I did it because I wanted to have more influence on the outcomes of Craig's, both from our staff and shareholders, and also from our client perspective, and to introduce um, some diversity at our board level. And it has been absolutely fabulous having Susan on board as well um, in more recent times. And, it, and that's been a really good balance um, across four the Craig's Investment Partners Board.